from CVs to Blu-rays. American inventor James T. Russell was the brain behind the technology of optical digital storage used in CVs. In the early 1980s, Sony facilitated the mass production of CDs. The idea of creating CDs was in fact a solution to solve the problems of vinyl discs so that large amount of audio data could be stored. This was an enormous leap from traditional media because for the first time, recordable and re-rentable media could be done at high qualities at very low cost. To explain how data is stored on a CD, we shall use a blank one as an example. The CD is made up of several layers, most of which are protective layers. The most important layer is the bump layer, which consists of lens and peaks and is where the data is stored. This data is stored in a spiral pattern that originates from the center of the disc and spirals out toward the outer edge. All CD drives are equipped with strong and weak lasers. The strong lasers are meant for writing, which burns pits into the bump layer, while the weak lasers are meant for interpreting these pits and translating them into computer language. When information is transferred onto the disk, the computer interprets and converts them to binary by commanding the strong laser to engrave the respective pits onto the disk. A change from pit to land or land to pit is interpreted as a 1, while no change is interpreted as a 0. Likewise, when a written disk is placed into another computer, that computer will read all these pits and lands using its weak laser and interpret the data stored on a CD. However, we eventually needed more than one CD to store an entire file. So, for convenience, we needed something with more storage, which led to the birth of DVD. On the outside, a DVD is virtually indistinguishable from a CD. It has the same 5-inch diameter and 1.2mm thickness. Like a CD, it's easy to carry, safe to handle, and it's just the right space-saving compact size for home entertainment. However, on the inside, a DVD is totally different. Its pits are half the size of CD pits, and its tracks are spaced about twice as closer together. This allows for packing of more data onto the same physical space as a CD. Similar to how a DVD has a 5 to 10 times more storage capacity as compared to a CD, a Blu-ray disc has also increased DVD capacity by 5 to 10 times. One of the reasons is due to the usage of a blue laser, which has a wavelength of 405 nanometers instead of a red laser, which has a wavelength of 650 nanometers. This makes it possible to focus the laser spot with even greater precision allowing for much smaller focused laser beam which enables the recording of much smaller and higher density pits on the disc. Optical discs in general have experienced a decline in unit sales for the last several years, while online distribution has increased. This is because many consumers with broadband internet access find obtaining content online much more convenient than purchasing physical media. However, for now, Blu-ray disc sales are growing because downloading high-resolution content from the internet would take too long and it is more convenient to run to the store and get a disc rather than wait hours for a content download. 